I get asked this a lot, like really a lot. Is the Astrox 100ZZ more powerful or the Astrox 88D Pro? I'm gonna break it all down for you as well as add in another two rackets, which also features very highly on the power list. The Astrox 99 Pro and last generation's OG Yonex power racket, the Voltric Z Force 2. So I've done individual reviews on each of the three Astrox rackets and you can find them up here as well as in the links in the description below. But in this video, I'm gonna be doing a direct comparison on each of them here after so many of you requested for it. So to explain and discuss the overall dynamics behind the best and most powerful racket here, I'm gonna be basing today's comparison on a few categories which I believe are essential. They are the handling and maneuverability, user friendliness of the racket, feel, and lastly, the topic of the day, how powerful they are. So in terms of handling, I would consider all four rackets, including the Z Force 2, for being quick and nimble, considering they were all head-heavy rackets. All four have fully recessed frame profiles, which makes them really, really quick, and it was perhaps kick-started by the Z Force 2 when it first came out back in January 2014. If I had to rank them, I would put the 88D Pro as the fastest of them in terms of handling, then the 100ZZ. Controversial, huh? So third on my list would be the 99 Pro before ending with the Z Force 2. So if you look confused here, this is why. Out of the four, the 88D Pro is the one with the lightest head alongside the most pliable shaft and frame stiffness compared to the other three. So it is clear why it's the fastest here. The 100ZZ for some reason felt very nimble for me. It feels solid, but nimble. Perhaps the skinniest head alongside the solid hyper slim shaft here is the magic secret sauce to getting it glide through the air so quickly. The 99 Pro for me just felt smoother compared to the Z Force 2, so that's why it's ahead. I remember when I first played with the Z Force 2 when it first came out so many years ago, and I was just amazed at how much faster it was compared to the previous generations of Armatex, and this feeling of the latest top-end Astrox rackets were the same as before. The Z Force 2 isn't slow at all, it's just the Astrox, which is incrementally faster. If we then move on to the user friendliness category, or as I often refer to it, as how demanding it is to play with in my reviews, this again repeats the same rankings I have for the handling and maneuverability. The 88D Pro is the easiest to play with, then comes the 100ZZ before ending with the 99 Pro and Z Force 2. So when testing the Z Force 2 again recently, I was just shocked at how everything is so, so stiff. And remembering how much I used to love the Z Force 2, and I have four of them as well, in 3U nonetheless. It's not just the shaft that's stiff, but the racket face too. Everything is just stiff. The demands to produce good timed shots under pressure was incredible. If your technique doesn't hold up under pressure, then you're gonna struggle to produce any good shots with the Z Force 2. If you're on a bad day, you're not gonna find much pace with the Z Force 2. And so, if you're late to a show, forget it. I'm out. The Z Force 2 is like the crazy hot X who looks amazing, but you can't handle them. The 100ZZ I find is surprisingly easy to play with when compared them side by side. It somehow feels very similar to the Z Force 2, but isn't. It certainly is stiff, but it's the nice stiff where the shuttle listens to you and go where it needs to go. The 99 Pro, on the other hand, certainly has the biggest sweet spot out of the four, and that's why it came ahead of the Z Force 2 but due to its head being the heaviest, it stays third for me. So in terms of feel, the 100ZZ wins it for me. It used to be the Z Force 2, but in this comparison, and I've spent a lot of time testing them again recently, and the 100ZZ comes out winner. Third on the list would be the 88D Pro, and 99 Pro feels the worst for me as being the softest of the bunch. As I mentioned before, the 100ZZ certainly feels stiff, but not just the shaft, but also the racket face, but it's not as crazy stiff as the Z Force 2. It's just stiff enough where no matter how and where, what angle or stroke you hit the shuttle, it has that consistent solid feel to it. With the Z Force 2, the bigger the power stroke, the better it feels. In terms of power smashing, there is nothing that comes close to the signature solid feeling that the Z Force 2 brings. But outside of that, everything just feels meh. Especially if you don't get good contact with the shuttle. The 88D Pro comes third due to it being a steady performer as well as feeling consistent. It certainly doesn't feel as stiff as the 100ZZ or the Z Force 2, but it's just a step down from them. And we certainly won't be doing the 99 Pro any justice by saying it's soft. It's only soft when compared in this group. 
So I certainly believe the bigger gaps of the strings in the center of the racket face contributes to this, but the end result certainly gives you a bigger sweet spot. So if you want a more solid feeling, go with a stiffer string than usual, such as the BG-18. We now move on to the most crucial point of the discussion, power. And I'm gonna split this into two, where I will rate their ultimate raw power and then rate their effective power. And so why is this relevant? So this is because a lot of players look at racket specs and it goes, this is super stiff and this is crazy head heavy. It will have lots of power. All things being equal, you're probably right. But super stiff and super head heavy rackets generally don't have very good playability or in this comparison today, user friendliness. But before I go into them, what are the equivalent power rackets for both Victor and Li Ning? List them down in the comment sections below. For ultimate power, nothing beats the Z Force 2, pure and simple. So much raw power with crispy feeling. Job done, sayonara. A very, very close second, in my opinion, is the 100ZZ, which some might say possess the ultimate power. Third on the list for me is the 99 Pro. It might have the heaviest head of them all, but the shaft certainly isn't as stiff as the Z Force 2, so some whip in there. And lastly, it'll be the 88D Pro. On most comparisons, the 88D Pro will certainly feature highly as a power racket, but not on this power laden list. We now swap our viewing angles and we look at the effective power. And surprise, surprise, the 100ZZ comes out on top for me. There's just something with that 100ZZ which just oozes power and his ability to transfer all that into the shuttle. Sure, it's stiff, but it's the nice stiff where the shuttle responds to your power shots. Very, very effective power right there. If you're out of position, the 100ZZ will still be able to respond with enough playability to get you out of jail. I believe this is one of the reasons so many pros play with the 100ZZ. It does have that distinct solid feeling, which is only beaten by the Z Force 2, whilst possessing so much more playability with lots of power. An outright win for the ultimate best power you want to spend in for me. Second on my effective power list is actually the 88D Pro. This thing is so, so fast because it's not extremely head heavy, and this speed is transferred onto the show during power shots. The 88D Pro perhaps works better on players who perhaps don't play a purely aggressive power game. The 88D Pro wins on effective, easy power with amazing amounts of playability and certainly my racket of choice too. We then look at the 99 Pro and the Z Force 2 and why I've listed them third and last on my effective power list. The 99 Pro certainly has a big sweet spot, but because of how head heavy it is, you're limited to the number of places you can utilize this head weight. Anything that is not an overhead power shot will somewhat be a liability in this regard, and to the general player, it might just limit or wreck your game. Perhaps why so few pros actually use the 99 Pro on the circuit as well? The same can be said for the Z Force 2. Sure, if you had all the time in the world to prep for your big smash on a half cut lift, you can certainly unleash all that power, but this doesn't happen very often in a game, and most of the time in good close games, you are forced under pressure from your opponents, and the Z Force 2 does you no favors at all, aside from power shots. It might be the racket with the most ultimate raw power, but if you're in no position to unleash it, it's pretty much useless. I actually hit harder now with a lighter racket, which is also more forgiving, which makes badminton more enjoyable for me to play. The 100ZZ is certainly the ultimate power Yonex badminton racket. Start with the 4U model, you might be pleasantly surprised. I'll see you in the next one.